What's up guys welcome back to a new video. In this video I am going to show you how you can create your own food blog. So what we are going to learn today is how you can start your own website on WordPress or how you can start your own blog on WordPress specifically food blog on WordPress. Right now you can see a reference website which has been opened on the screen like there are many different options home, about, deserts, appetizers, pasta, contact and these are all the menu items which we are going to have on our actual food blog which we'll learn how to create in this video and it's not gonna take much time you can start your own food blog perhaps within an hour or two of work and even the investment needed for it is not that much all you need to do is just register a domain you can choose whichever domain you want and we are going to discuss about this in detail in the comment sections of this video so without wasting much of our time let's start to learn how we can make our own food blog or our own wordpress website just like as it shown on the screen and also before starting the first part of this video i would just like to show how the website is going to look right now you can see there are many different menu options a main header then on the top there is social media channels and also navigations for different pages of your website and if you scroll down you will see latest posts and a small intro about the author of this website or the owner of this website or the blogger of this website then social media links of either the food blog or whichever ones we want to use and if we scroll down even more we'll see a small tab with all the recent posts in the list and just below it there is a small option to register for the newsletter of this website and there is just a small form where they ask us for our first name last name and email and then there is a gallery from Instagram and still on the left hand side we are still seeing different types of posts probably with recipes or anything related to food and if we scroll even more in the footer we'll see different categories and different navigation menu options again more categories and these all can be changed based on our preference we'll see another navigation menu with options home about recipes contact and at last there is a small text regarding the creator of the website or where the website is hosted in our case it should be something like copyright uh, and the name of our blog let's say copyright food blog 2021 so i hope right now you understand how we are going to create a website or a food blog and how the look of our website is going to be and now what we are going to do is actually start the process of creating this website or creating this blog so let's dive deeper guys the very first thing you need to do is find out what domain you'd like to use in this case the domain or the brand name of the blog is Fudika Light, but of course we would like to use a different brand name so once you decide what domain name you'd like to use the very first thing you need to do is register that domain and this is also going to be your first expense related to this blog so let's say as the name of my channel is twinkle ppc we'll have a food blog with name twinkle foods so let's register the domain name first i'm just gonna go on godaddy because i think when you are registering the domain for the first time you get very good deals on godaddy specifically there are also many different domain name registers and you can use whichever you want but i would suggest and i would recommend to use godaddy if you haven't used it before as you get very good deals for the first two years it's showing me right now 199 rupees which is around four dollars so i'm just gonna add this to my cart and once you have added this to your cart you can do checkout and pay the actual price and then the domain name will be registered under your account and then you can start the next steps of this process so again just want to let you know guys the very first step is to register a domain in this case we are using this as a domain uh, but i haven't done checkout yet because i just realized i already have a domain which has not been used and and i purchased it to make another video a couple of weeks back so i'm just gonna use that domain in our case now the next segment of this video will be how you can link this domain to a hosting service as you can see i have already registered a domain on hostinger.com and the name of the domain is domainconnection.xyz i had registered it a couple of weeks back so i didn't purchase a new domain on godaddy and we are going to use this domain for now i know it sounds a bit weird to use domainconnection.xyz for a food blog but we are just using it as an example so as far as you know the basic and fundamental ideas on how to set up a domain how to link a wordpress site 
how to connect a domain with the hosting and all those things any domain works so similar to how you see on my current hostinger platform the domain name which has a manage option you will see the exact same thing on any of the other domain registrar platform let's say for godaddy you will have a domain name listed on somewhere on your platform and you will have an option for manage so try to find it out it's not that different and not that difficult you just have to go through a couple of menu items in order to find this once your domain has been registered the next thing we are going to do is register for a hosting account and i know there are many different websites which offer you hosting services there are many different kinds of services like hosting for just a website hosting for wordpress website hosting for other kinds of platforms there is wix there is squarespace there is uh, bluehost and many other different kinds of platforms but for now we are going to use triple zero webhost.com just because it offers free hosting services you can see how their website looks like and this is one of the platforms which offers free hosting services and the parent company of this company is hostinger now let's create an account on triple zero webhost.com i'm just gonna click sign in and i'm gonna log in with google so an account has been created on triple zero webhost.com now if you want you can take a tour here or i'll just click it's not my first video take me to the panel if you want to find out every different feature and learn more about how their platform works you can click on let's create some magic but since i have already gone through different kinds of options on other hosting platforms i would rather click on it's not my first rodeo take me to the c panel give a website name let's say food blog generate a password this is just to create the project they are asking to generate a password here i'll create a very simple password which we can remember food blog one two three at it says another website name with this name already exists. Too many requests, please try again in a couple of minutes. Let's change the name of the website. Sorry guys, it's saying too many requests, please try again in a couple of minutes. So until then, let's work on the other thing. As I shown you in the first segment of this video, we are going to make a website which is going to look very much similar to what you are seeing on the screen. The website which is called Fudika Light and it has many different menu options, blog posts and all the other different things which we discussed in the initial section of this video so what we are going to do now is download wordpress theme of this website you can find the link in the description it is a direct download link the page where the direct download link is is shown on the screen let's try to download this theme now let's just save it on desktop so that we can find this out easily without wasting much of our time i'm gonna name the folder food blog I'm going to create one more folder here and I'm going to name this WordPress theme and save the theme here. Now the theme has been downloaded and saved into our computer so we can close this tab. Now let's try again to register a project on triple zero web host. As you can see the name of the website has already been created. I have already generated a password. Just going to click submit. It again says the name has already been taken you know what it just says website name is optional so i'm just going to click submit without entering a website name saves us the trouble of selecting the perfect name which hasn't already been chosen cool so now we are on the next screen and our toolbox has been opened we are seeing three different options use our website builder not many people use this feature because it is not much customizable they prefer to download a theme and then install it rather than starting a website or building a website from the scratch it takes a lot more time and you need to customize many different things which are already customized in a pre-made theme so from these three options select install wordpress give username and password for your wordpress website i'm just going to keep uh, this as admin one sorry 01 and password to be so here you can see it's asking me to create a password of 12 characters so i'm going to create a 12 word password here sorry 12 characters password language of course english and click install so now it will start retriving wordpress files it's unpacking the files and doing its process wait for some minutes that's it 
we got the message congratulations it's ready your wordpress is now ready for configuration so let's go to configuration page i hope i remember my password here admin01 e a s s w r d password at remember me so i don't have to enter my password again keep note of it that whatever the password you create make sure to write it down because if it's really random password and you are creating it for the first time you are probably not gonna remember by the time you are logging into your wordpress cms now we have our wordpress cms already here this is our content management system all kinds of content which is shown on a wordpress website is managed from here we are seeing many different options dashboard posts media pages comments appearance plugins and we are going to discuss not in detail but briefly all these options but not right now the very first thing we need to do is if we see the website right now it's going to look very basic with nothing but just a title and a small description and some other default options so we are going to change the look of this website right now and for that the first thing we need to do is click on appearance then go to themes from themes remember we downloaded a theme fudika light we are going to upload that theme here click on add new click on upload theme just gonna cancel this right now and from here you can choose the file for me the file was saved on desktop so just gonna access that food blog wordpress theme fudika open and click on install now it's unpacking the package installing the theme and the theme has been installed successfully now it says the link you followed has expired so let's try refreshing this let's remove this and only keep wordpress admin and click enter so again we are on our wordpress cms now click on visit site the theme hasn't changed yet so let's again try going to appearance themes just gonna cancel this here you can see fudika light has been installed in our cms and now we just need to activate this once this theme has been activated let's now try to open the site again that's it now you can see here guys the look of the website has been changed a bit but not that much uh it's because we do not have any content right now and in the next part of the video what we are going to do is add content and, and narrow different options on this site down to a finalized shape so that this looks even more better and the menu options and the post on this website looks much more better guys now we are going to customize the look of this website from the top menu you can see the option called customize just gonna click on this And on the left side you will see many different options for customization which are mostly for the appearance of this website or blog we are going to go through each option one by one first is site identity here you can write your site's title and any tagline so since it is our food blog we are just going to change the title of the site to uh, twinkle foods and just gonna change the tagline to collection of best recipes that's it now i'm just gonna click back from colors i don't think you really need to change colors for now so just gonna go back theme layout here you can see four different options home page layout archive pages layout single post layout and single pages layout you can play around all the options it just changes the looks of the website if i make it full width it's gonna make the website full width if i change this to left sidebar it's gonna bring the options on left sidebar if i change this to right sidebar it's gonna put back the options like search recent posts recent comments all on the right sidebar these are all called widgets and for the home page layout you can play around with all these options 
let's say left sidebar full width right sidebar and same for the single post layout single pages layout archive pages layout once again go back footer layout i'm just gonna keep it four because right now nothing is in our footer and we are going to add elements on the later stage again go back background image not many people use this option because right now our background is white and if you want to change this to any other background you can upload an image here and it will start showing on the background of the whole blog or website next option is menus right now there is nothing on the menus and we are going to create a new menu this is one of the important option under customization after site identity now let's create the menu it's asking us name of the menu this will be primary menu or top menu primary menu now it's asking us where we would like to show this menu we can show on top menu we can show on main menu we can show on mobile menu and of course on the footer menu these are four main locations of the menu so we are going to select all the four locations click next now there is an option called add items click on it so you can see another option opening up on the right hand side which has the different menu items we are going to edit this and it should look similar to the menu shown here so let's add all the menu items which is home about deserts appetizers pasta contact let's first add home the next item would be about so let's add about click on add third is deserts deserts fourth is appetizers appetizers fifth is pasta and last is contact So this part is done click back and this option will be closed now click on publish now you can see the menu has been updated here we are seeing many different options under navigation and under top menu and also at the footer and it looks kind of similar to this side now one thing we are missing here is that the menu here is different than the menu which is shown here and same way the menu on the footer is different than the top menu so in order to do this, we are again gonna go back to our website and we are seeing three different icons here. These are edit icons. We'll keep this menu as it is. We are going to edit this. Click on this edit icon. Now you are seeing all four menus are connected to primary menu. So in order to show a different menu on the top menu and on the footer, we are going to create two new menus which will be a footer menu and a top menu. So let's again go back and under menus, we'll see an option create new menu. Again, click on it, name this menu, top menu. And as it should only be shown on the top menu, we are going to check top menu. Click next, click on add items. And here we are seeing only three different options about sample page contact so we are going to do same first is about another is sample page and last is contact so let's add contact that's it done let's go back and again create another menu for the footer menu so click on create new menu name this footer menu select footer menu from here click next and let's see what the footer menu on this blog it is home about recipes and contact so we are going to select add items first and the four items which are shown on the footer menu on Fudika blog is home about recipes and contact about just going to create a new page since the page recipes hasn't been created yet so let's create a new page recipes add and contact again go back and click on publish 
so our website is coming down nicely we are seeing different menu options one on the top menu one on the main menu and one on the footer menu and one thing we are missing here is on the Fudika light blog the top menu has another two sub items and on our website right now the top menu doesn't have sub items so in order to add sub items go on menu select the top menu click on add items and the name of the items will be full width page and short quotes so let's create it as a custom link i'm just going to keep url as it is for now just going to add as a link text the two link text would be full width page and short quotes full width page add to menu it is not accepting as there is no link for now so let's just add a link so let's just copy this link for the home page and paste it here just so that it can accept the menu item and again for the next menu item we are going to paste the same link and the name of the menu item would be short quotes edit now we are going to drag this under sample page and to the right as a sub menu item and same way drag short quotes up and to the right as a sub menu item now click on publish and go back to the main menu so now you will see two different sub menu items under the top menu under sample page which is full width page and short quotes and the rest of the page of the website still doesn't look that good but we are coming there now from the customization options click on widgets on the main fudika light website we are seeing many different widgets one is about me one is follow me one is just the icons of social media links one is recent post one is subscribed to our e-newsletter and the last is instagram gallery so there are one two three four five six six different widgets that's what we are going to do on our website now these are all different places for the widget and instead of making this more confusing i'm going to start from the very first option which is called sidebar so when we click on this we see one two three four five six six different widgets on sidebar similar to how it looks on the Fudika light website first widget is search here but we already have a search option here so we are going to remove this widget and we are going to make it similar to how it looks on the actual Fudika light website which is a short introduction about the author or the owner of the blog let's remove this altogether instead of changing this now click on add a widget from the menu options opening on the right click on text and enter about me i'm just gonna copy and paste the text from the actual fudika light website copy this and paste it here so this is going to sh show on the about me section now we need to add an image similar to this so just click on open image in a new tab from here download the image now of course you can upload your own image but i'm just taking this as an example so that our blog looks very much similar to the reference which we are taking uh, as an example for this video The image is showing below the text so i'm just going to copy this text again sorry cut this text and paste it below the image now you will see the text and the image has been updated click on publish and i'm going to move this text about me widget on the top So the first thing is done for us now the next thing is to put follow me social media icons so again let's remove recent posts 
click on add widget and from here click text add the title of the widget as follow me follow me and right now we are not going to do anything here because on this page a separate widget has been used and we are going to do the same so we are not adding any icons for now from this option so just click publish drag it down just below about me so now we have an about me widget a follow me widget the third thing is just the social media icons so we are not going to do that right now but we can create another widget for it so let's add this time as a custom html code not keeping title as anything just going to save this and just going to bring it just below follow me so we have three different things now about me follow me and a third widget with social media icons which we'll be putting it later now the fourth thing is recent posts so again click on add a widget you will find recent posts option click on it add the title recent posts and drag it down below custom html so this fourth option will also be added on the website sidebar now the next option is subscribe to our newsletter so again add a widget there should be an option for forms which is wp forms click on it there is no title right now so we'll keep it blank there are no forms which are created and once we create the form we are going to select it here so let's keep it as it is for now let's keep this two option unchecked and again drag it down just below recent posts so another widget has been created for subscribing to the newsletter and the last thing was instagram gallery we are going to create a new widget let's see if this gallery option works nope it's showing just the gallery of the images which we are going to upload so we don't want that we need to show the instagram gallery so just delete this click on add widget and click on custom html give the title instagram and don't paste anything here for now and click publish again move this up and all six main options has been created now or at least the space for all the six options has been created so we are going to delete the options which we do not need right now but according to your preference for the website you can add recent comments you can create categories and add it on the website sidebar menu or you can add details regarding your archives on the website side menu you can customize it based on how you need and how you want your website to appear i'm going to make it look very much similar to the website which is taken for the example that's why i am keeping everything same let's delete all these unnecessary items remove 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 one two three four five six all six items has been created click publish so our main thing for the website sidebar is now done now let's go back and now we are seeing other options which is footer column one footer column two footer column three footer column four and header social icons so what all these options mean is when we go on the website there are four different columns for the footer column one column two column three column four those are here footer column one footer column two footer column three footer column four and header social icons is the social icons shown on the top menu on the header so let's first add all the social icons facebook twitter instagram pinterest and email on our website add a widget so let's first customize footer column one if we go on the actual website we'll see four different options the first column has categories so we are going to add the same add a widget let's see if there is an option for categories 
yep here it is categories add it as a widget does it have a title yes so let's add the title categories right now there are no categories created for this block so that's why only uncategorized is showing but we are going to add more categories and all those categories are going to show here again go back now for footer column 2 click on add a widget let's see what we are seeing here it's archives so again from here we should see archives add the title archives and again go back now for the third column of footer again click on add a widget the third column shows categories but with the count of the post so we are going to add same add categories but this time we are going to check show post counts again add the title and go back and open footer column 4 for fourth column it is just metadata so let's add the widget meta add title and click on publish so guys now you can see on the footer there are four different sections created one is categories archives again categories but with the count of the post and metadata which is very much similar to Fudika Lite website but one thing we are noticing here is the categories look different on the third column for here than the categories which we have on the third column on our own website so let's try going to third column of footer click remove this add a widget and this time select tag give title categories show tag counts and publish this 